assembling the Ubitix and upgrade to a Nexion display, next, on Broken Signal. Click that subscribe button and give the video a like. The Ubitix is a general coverage 10 watt HF SSB CW transceiver kit that gives you basic functionality to get on the air but is greatly hackable to make a really nice rig. Assembly is pretty straightforward and can be completed in an hour with only a couple screwdrivers. So I won't go into detail here. Just follow the instructions and you shouldn't have any issues. The first mod I chose was to upgrade the 2.8 inch touchscreen with the Nexteon display and install KD8 CEC's firmware. I started with removing the Raiduino from the Ubitex and removing the display screen. I then inserted a 90 degree header pins into the display port and soldered the four wires for the Nexteon display to the header. WB2CBA has a great write up on this that I'll link in the description. Next, I powered on to verify the display works before proceeding. Now we need to update the firmware. Navigate to hamskey.com and click on Ubitex Firmware CEC. Scroll down and click on the zip file under Firmware and Source Code. Click Save. Next, click the link under Nexteon LCD. Then scroll down and click on Ubitex Nexteon. GUI zip. Click Save. Navigate to where you downloaded the Nexion firmware and select the TFT file for your display. Ubitex 2.8 TFT for the basic 2.8 inch display. Drag and drop it to a micro SD card and then eject the SD card. Insert it into the Nexion display and power it up. Wait for it to finish updating. Now open Xloader, click to select hex file, and navigate to where you downloaded the firmware. Select the NX hex file and click open. Verify the device is ATmega328, select COM port, and baud rate of 57600, then click upload. It will take a moment to complete. I put a link to Xloader in the description below. If the device does not show up in the list, you can edit the devices.txt file in the Xloader directory and add the devices as listed here. Now reassemble the Raiduino. The Nexion display mount holes don't line up, but it will work using the right side holes only. Next, reassemble the Ubitex. Now we have an upgraded touchscreen and firmware installed that we will take advantage of in future episodes. So make sure to subscribe and thanks for watching. We're sorry, you have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. This is Enigma 7 calling. This is Enigma 7 calling.